Uh, go back to Travion now. Love that. Love that. <laughs> yeah, we love we love that. Oh, here, here we, we go. go. It's a Swedish French guy. <laughs> oh yeah, it, this has to be the Swedish version of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh la la, bonjour. Welcome to La Tribien. Oh, hello. What happened to Maya? She's frozen stiff. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the character. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Bienvenue! Welcome to my petit restaurant. Huh? <laughs> e Avenue? <laughs> All right. That's All right. good. That's, that's, that's good. Comedies, like get that to, comedies get to work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That one stings. Oh uh, no, my Ah, <laughs> uh, me? Look at his face. <laughs> like the kitten rejected by his own mother. You are fatigued, no? Hello? You need this. An aromatic bath oil melange of la neroli and la, and la rose. My personal recommendation. Talk bless you for doing that. You think I need what? <laughs> oui, oui! Just add a couple of drops of this mixture to la bath water, and voila! It will soothe your body and your mind! It's simply fantastic! Really? <laughs> and for la monsieur! Who? Uh, me! Look at that face! Like the puppy <laughs> rejected by life itself. Jesus! You are me, no? Okay, listen, I know I'm the butt of the jokes in these games, but like, come on. <laughs> A puppy rejected by life itself? That is brutal! <laughs> For you, monsieur, I recommend this. You know, I'm just realizing, what is with Japan and writing characters whose last names are Armstrong and they're queer coded and buff as fuck at the same time? That. I don't know, man. Can they, can also they from Full Metal. Metal Gear. I was gonna say the Metal Gear Armstrong isn't yeah. queer coded, is it? No, no, no. You're right. But he is buff as fuck. Yeah. Oil of bergamot and maybe a hit of we oui, we. Oui. I will add le peppermint and la clare sage for fragrance exceptional. Such an invigorating recipe will bring out your delicious beauty, monsieur. My beauty? Hello. If you will be seated, I will bring you the special menu of the day. Actually, we're not here to eat. We're lawyers. We don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I feed on is, is justice. Oh. <laughs> That's really good. A helping bowl but... of justice, washed down with a cold, tall glass of justice. <laughs> Where is the poison going? <laughs> Where does the poison come from? Where are the other poisons going? Where's the Joker? <laughs> I'm the weird occupant. Where's, where's MC Bomber? <laughs> Where <Swear laughs> <to> me? <laughs> My bien, sir. I know this already, monsieur. You are the phoenix, right? No? Uh, yes. You know me? My oui, oui. I never forget a man who flirts with me, especially in court. <laughs> what? Guess he was cross-examined by our mysterious Jian Yap. I love how she's insisting on calling him Jin Yap. Yeah, like they have not dropped this joke. And like we're not like just like the fraud or the fake, but she has determined that this is this, this is the yep. non-existent person's name. I mean to be fair, Pridge, we do that with half of our jokes, so Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> uh oh, and this is excellent. Uh this has been pointed out to be Giant Penguin says Want to take a guess at what Jean Armstrong is in the French translation of this game? They made him Italian. 
<laughs> and that his name is actually That's Luigi. In no the Italian, yeah, in the way. Italian version, his name is Luigi. Pretty funny. Mama <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> it, l it looks like everyone. It looks like everyone to do with this case already knows who I am already. Yeah, dude, you were in court. <laughs> I wonder what sort of impression Jin Ops been leaving on people, don't you? Allow me to introduce myself to you again. I am Jean Armstrong. Enchanté. Oh, thank you. Thank you very no much. No on so many levels. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bridge, it doesn't get any better anytime soon. <laughs> so what does Trey Bien mean? I know Trey. That means three, right? <laughs> That's good. No, no, no! Très bien is Francois. In English, you would say very good. Oh, very good. Oui, exactement! La atmosphère is très bien, and la cuisine is très bien. If the food's so good, why aren't there any customers in here? Yeah. My cuisine is not for all. Some people say they do not appreciate the hot cuisine. I thought everyone liked hot cuisine. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's fucking good. Since I have lost Maggie, I do not have enough hands. What happened to your hands? <laughs> I used to have I used to have six of them. Oh, that's pretty rad. So you're running this place on your own now? Oui, for the moment. No one has answered my advertisement. Ah, for moi. Please don't eyeball me while you say that. I am the chef. I am the manager. I am also a trained aromatherapist. A Roman what? <laughs> okay, I do like the misconfu like the language uh -huh. jokes. A practitioner de aromatherapy, the art of soothing the soul with the delicate floral aromas. Delicate? The smell coming from the bottle earlier was anything but. It smelled like anything but. <laughs> <laughs> so. Better than Larry, but. Got him. <laughs> so, could you tell me what you know about the incident? Yeah, it makes me so sad to remember it, yet I remember it so well. More than a month has passed since it happened. Yeah, I guess it's been about a month since Maggie's sentencing. So, it was the third of last month, just after one in the afternoon. A man who was here for a coffee suddenly became ill. Because of the poison in his coffee? That of the poison truth. in his food that I put in there. <laughs> oh, you asked me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nailed. As I know it. <laughs> it was Maggie who took his drink to him. I was in the kitchen. I heard the sound of someone collapsing. When I came out to see what it was, he was already slumped in his chair. He was dead? Mon dieu! Oui, he was dead. Maggie had passed out also. And this man who died, was he alone? Oui, monsieur. All alone. I know that Maggie said there was someone else, but... I see. La police, they asked me many times. Are you sure there was no one else at the table? They asked. But I am not the only one. The old man said the same thing. Old man? What old man? Um, so who is this old man you mentioned? At the time of the murder, there was another customer in here. Okay, well it seems like... What? Someone else saw it? Seems like kind of a big deal that we should have heard about before this, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> my, my oui. As usual, he came alone that day. At the time of the murder, he was here. He saw it too. 
But he said the same thing, that there was no one else at the victim's table. But Maggie swears there were two people. Mais, mademoiselle, la lawyer, he could not prove this, no? Uh, about the lawyer, that was me, I suppose. Mais bien sûr. Uh, wow, he's the first. Who, wow, he's the first person who said it wasn't me. <laughs> That's not Hit what yourself, he said. Nick. Now, who is the one making stuff up? Hmm. Uh, I don't. Well, maybe we should present the stuff. I guess. Yeah, sure. I am not a lawyer myself. I do not wish to speak out of term. But your defense in court that day was a little, how you say, lacking, perhaps? <sighs> Even a Frenchman who cannot speak any <laughs> English could have done a better job. Okay. You are very Damn. cool, though. <laughs> oh, oui, oui. So, handsome. <laughs> wow. I wonder just how bad the defense could have been. Every time you opened your mouth, the old courthouse stirred. Oh man, that is something I don't want to imagine. Uh, some people are saying we can present profiles. That's actually a good idea. Maggie was a policewoman once, n'est-ce pas? Yes, but she had to quit for um, reasons beyond her control. Oui, oui. She was less suspect in the murder investigation, no? Wow, you knew that and you still hired her? Good on you. Oh, you know about that? That is why I gave her la perfume for la happiness. Happiness perfume? Oui, blended from bergamot, like I have given to you before. But she's been arrested again, and found guilty this time. This is true. Her natural aroma of unhappiness must have been very strong. Just admit it, your perfume doesn't work! I am not surprised she was the prime suspect. After something like that took place before my very eyes. <gasps> something like that? Like what? <laughs> What's this guy talking about? Does this mean Maggie did have a motive? We've got to ask this guy for more info. Stat! Uh, somebody did say present Mia and Maya. So let me do that really quick. Ooh la la! You have such a pretty smile, my petite tulip. Oh, me? Oui! La smile is the most important thing for us girls, n'est-ce pas? Okay. Um... Sure. If you want a job here, it is yours, precious. Also, why is Mia in our profiles to present at this point? Aid deceased. She has also, yeah, that's not how age works. <laughs> age, try asking again. <laughs> Mon dieu, what beauty. That's my sister. It's dad. Ah, uh, oui? Another delight. But you have a certain je ne sais quoi that I do not sense from your sister. Is it being alive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's oh. something about you. It's, what is it? The heart, the blood pumping in your veins? The breath <laughs> in your lungs? I do? Not the being a corpse? Dirt, <laughs> the, the lack of being in a box six feet under the ground? So throw your head eye, thrust, thrust out your feminine features. Do not lose out, my filly, my filly, filly, fil, fi. I think oh, just fee. Uh, I think it's supposed to be like a, a young woman. Yeah, I don't know what like a filly. Pronunciation of it. You are a woman, a woman extraordinaire. I'm chatting in his fee. No L. E. Do I look like I need cheering up or something? <laughs> yes. Um, people are saying present the badge as well. <clears throat> Please, monsieur. There is no need to show me that. 
you are Mon Phoenix Wright, the worst defense lawyer in town. <laughs> hey. Okay. I think I can. A imagine... lot of wins on my record. Yeah, I think I can imagine how he got this, how he formed this completely wrong impression of me. Um, the last time we met, did I show you this badge? Oui. You flashed it to everyone in the restaurant. Oh, That's got a fake badge. Looks like Jin Yap is a better, bigger fan of flashing stuff than you are, Nick. What the fuck is that, that supposed to mean? It's a phrase that can be no taken in some very wrong ways. <laughs> no one likes flashing stuff more than me, Maya. Shut up. <laughs> when Maggie took the coffee over to the victim, did anything happen? Uh, oui. I suppose you could say so. So, what happened? No. It was... Uh... It was nothing. <sighs> Look, Maggie said she didn't even know the guy. She's still been indicted for murder. The prosecution must have come up with some kind of motive. We, oui, uh, it is true. If there was anything at all between Maggie and the victim, it could be relevant. So please, tell us anything you know. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, oh, we got a psych lock, baby. Let's psych lock. No way. What are we going to do, Nick? I'll just have to remove... What the? What's wrong? The Magatama. It's gone. Uh, huh? What? I had it in my pocket, but it vanished into thin air. What? Wait, so like, I saw? Okay, no, but I could see the Cyclock. Maybe that means the Magatama is nearby? Um, Mr. Armstrong, could I just confirm something with you again? The table where the victim was sitting, was anyone else sitting there? That is a question you will have to ask him yourselves. Huh? Him? <laughs> Loud man spends all of his time at the park. The park? Oh, a, a park? What park's that? Behind the restaurant. It is called Vitamin Square. That's good. Thank you. Je vous, je vous en prie, my dear. No, that is Let's go check out this vitamin square right now, Nick. Sounds good to me. Big fruit's back. Holy shit, it is big fruit. Also, the placement of the banana rocker right next to the two oranges. <laughs> we can we can admit that's a little phallic, right? Fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. That's we awesome. Got the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hugs. That's so good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> what is it? We have uh, 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 abnormally large, sized or... large, uh, something large jaw banana. Jaw-droppingly jaw 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 dropping dropping large, jaw dropping strawberries. large strawberries. Yeah. Look, we got a jaw dropping large strawberry. It's true. You would have to drop your jaw to eat that strawberry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So this is Vitamin Square. Yeah, I see where they get the name from now. <laughs> the fruits scream vitamins at you. <laughs> I really want all of these. For things to have voice boxes that are just screaming vitamins, <laughs> vitamins. <laughs> Nobody really comes here anymore. <laughs> oh God! Don't go down my slide. Have vitamins. <laughs> vitamins. <laughs> Why does like this star scream at me? <laughs> I like the idea that these pigeons are here because. All of these attractions are actually made of real food, and they've just been eating them. That this is whole funny. Time. Yeah, uh, giant hey, penguin. Yeah. Giant penguin does say you can see a dove amongst the pigeons here, which is a reference to Max Galactica's doves. Apparently, uh, that's fun. That's cute. Hey Nick, that's the guy, right? Isn't that the old man Mr. Armstrong was talking about? 
that grouchy looking grandpa? Oxy grandpa. <laughs> he's throwing seeds out for the pigeons. Maya, he's not throwing seeds for them. He's throwing seeds at them. Uh, oh, hell yeah. yeah. I forgot about this guy. I don't remember a single thing about this fucking guy. Squid, fucking Squidward looking ass. Yeah, for here. real. The fucking nose is so much. Ugh. I, forgot, I forgot this song completely. Yeah, my grumpiness threat level has just been raised to red. <laughs> um, is his nose red? Or does yeah. He have a giant like. I think it's his nose. I mean, he might have a growth on his nose, but it is so big that yeah, it is his nose. Is, like, is, is his nose red, or is that just a giant red growth on his nose? Yeah. No, I think it's his nose. Um, excuse me. Would you mind if I had a word with you? Yes! I just want to ask you a couple of questions. What's the matter with you? Can't you say I'm busy? Oh, you don't like my <laughs> seeds, huh, pigeons? Oh, oh God, that's, that's oh, gross. God. What the fuck? He's really chucking those seeds at them. He that's looks like hurt. the old man from Up, kind of. Yeah. With a big nose. Yeah. Come on, eat this! Uh, why can't I get a normal person in these cases? <laughs> Wait, that was the full answer to that question? <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you about Maggie Bird? I don't know any Maggie Bird. Yes, you do. Maggie, the waitress at Trey Bien. Kah, it's a disgrace, I tell you. An utter disgrace. A disgrace? An innocent young girl revealing herself like that. R revealing? You mean in her uniform? Youth of today. They don't have any shame. No shame, I tell you. Not one ounce. Dude, okay, boomer. You were the guy who was coming day in and day out to the fucking restaurant. Like, okay. Whatever happened to the old Bushido values of Japan, like honor and modesty? Ah, yeah, no, he really is. This is this is Japanese boomer here. Okay, boomer. <laughs> what about me? I'm not wearing anything revealing. You? Your problem is you lack any sense of grace. Well, he's not wrong about that one. Yeah about hitting a girl where it hurts. <laughs> Just cut to Maya in the Donkey Kong 64 rap. He has no style. He has no grace. This Kong has a funny face. Do you go to Trebian a lot? Hmm. A miserable excuse for a restaurant. That garbage they serve in there is not food. Here's the sushi, the tempura, the rice. Trebian is a French restaurant, sir. Literally, what the fuck? What do you think we are, boy? In Paris? I want real food, not those snooty snacks. What about those shameless girls? You mean the waitresses? You can see all the way up to their... their... <laughs> yes, the waitresses! <laughs> the quick flash of the change of the sprite was really good there. You're practically naked! It's a disgrace, isn't it? Well, isn't it? Listen, it's not my restaurant. Ah, God. It's a miserable excuse for a restaurant. Stop. That place. Miserable. But you went there constantly. He certainly knows the place. He must be a regular. But if he <laughs> hates it so much, why does he keep going? <laughs> I just saw the chat. Pootis Man says, wait until this guy discovers Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Are you a regular at that restaurant, sir? Just, if you dislike it so much, why would you keep going there? I'm an old pervert. Sir? <sighs> there you are, you filthy pigeons. You want food? <laughs> Take that! He must be hiding something, right? If he is, I should be able to see a cyclock. Oh, wait. I don't exactly have the Magatama right now, huh? Remember, Nick, that Magatama is only on loan. You better find it, or else. Okay, my. If Pearl ever gets wind of this, I'm gonna be in a world of pain. Hmm. I don't know. Do we have anything? I mean, maybe if I show him a badge, he'll 
show me some respect. Um, excuse me, sir, can I just ask you about this? <laughs> sir? There you go, boy! Oh. How does some pigeon feet sound to you? Yeah, actually, this, this wasn't exactly what I was hoping to get out of this. Um, oh, uh, probably... Present, present, like, Mia's profile or something. Oh, my him. God. Um, excuse me, no, 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 no. okay. Good need to care. Uh, not Godot. Well, the mean, yeah, Gene. Yeah, let me do that one. Uh, no way, it. really. Okay. I think we just had. I think we won't be able to ask him anything until we are able to break a psych lock on him. I bet. Well, he doesn't have one yet, does he? Nah, because we need to find the Magatama. Oh, uh, let me look at this. Or we can just, or we can just stab this old man. That sounds nice. Ooh, there's a magazine here. It's a magazine full of job listings. You disgusting rogue, picking up something someone else threw away. But they put they didn't throw it in the trash. Threw away? Did you throw did you throw this away? Are you looking for a job? Yeah. That's none of your business. Sorry. I guess I'll just take this magazine with me then. I don't want anyone else having it. Give it back. Too bad. Now that you want it so bad, I don't want to give it up. <laughs> Damn, Phoenix. Wow, okay. I guess we're just keeping this old man's trash. Hey, that's mine! <laughs> I mean, I, I do want to know if he says something about this. This place is so fruity. Wow. Oh, uh, my uh, known homophobe. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> okay, progressive Phoenix. Besides, I love apples. They're among my favorite. And that apple slide is perfect for you. And what is so perfect about it? Come on, don't be a stick in the mud. Slide down it a few times. Go on. Woo! No way! If I get covered, I'll get covered in sand if I slid down that slide. Anyone can see that. Yeah, you're right. Otherwise, I'd give it a try too. <laughs> it's a very weird line of dialogue. Uh. Oh, uh, let me take a look at this thing. No, just nothing. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, this is weird. Go back to Trebian and present the magazine to him. Oh, because he's hiring people? <laughs> uh-huh. Mademoiselle! Yes? Are you looking for that job? What? No, 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 no. I was just... Let me see. Your style is... Um, you different. You have a good face. Different? Felicitations! You have passed. I will hire you. Hey, come with me. She didn't even show a resume. I will teach you everything I know. Nick! Help! I'm... I'm free! I'm free! <laughs> I'm finally free! Oh. Thank you, Mr. Armstrong. Do you hear that? Silence. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> the sweet I... sound of nothing. Uh... I never thought I'd get to enjoy this ever again. <laughs> I think that I could get lost in the silence of the void. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or feel bad for Maya. Maybe I should do both. <laughs> okay. Well, that's enough of that. Oh, we lost Maya. Uh, well, did we do something else? Here? Uh, go back to the criminal affairs department. Oh, uh, yeah, Gumshoe's there, probably. Gumshoe, oh. want to be the new Maya? <laughs> Looks like they have yeah, Maggie in questioning. Guess I asked her pretty much everything. I'll come back if there's anything else I need to ask her later. Well, pal, have you found the evidence yet? The one that's gonna find her innocent. Um, no, not yet. We've only just started our we've only just started <laughs> our investigation. Oh, whatever you need to know, I'll give you the dirt on it. Putting off all my other cases for now, pal. Come she was really fired up about this. Oh yeah, one more thing. Retrial's been approved. Court sitting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And uh, Godot's gonna be the prosecutor. Oh, no. awesome. That guy's a moron. Him. Now listen up, pal. It 
Maggie's found guilty again. Yes? Um, I'll... I'll make sure you get locked up good for it. Got it? That's not how that works, Gumshoe. I cannot be in prison for... that for failing to get someone found innocent. Uh... Gumshoe, it sounds like you might have a, a little, little little crush on this one, huh? So the guilt, guilty party was Maggie Bird, huh? Yeah. Back when she was on the police force. You were her mentor when she was a rookie, right? Yeah, I kept a close eye on her. I mean, not too close, you know. I wasn't saying that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, what's with the funny looks, pal? It was just a. It wasn't anything like. Ooh, gumshoe. Ooh, gumshoe's got to cry. This is, the, this is the. This is the. You like Maggie Bear, don't you, gumshoe? <laughs> you like Maggie Patties, don't you, gumshoe? <laughs> <laughs> Look, sure, I was her boss when she was doing a training. But that was it. Nothing happened. Gumshoe sure is sweating up a storm over nothing. Oh, so that's it. Our big old gumshoe has a little old crush on Maggie. <laughs> oh. I, I don't like her or anything. Baka. Baka. <laughs> I, I was... Yeah. Note to self. Gossip with Maya about this later. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, my God. Gumshoe <laughs> earlier? Maya, did you see him? He was glowing. Oh, my God, Nick. Oh, my God. Positively he is... glowing. So spill he has the tea. It bad, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Look, pal, don't tell anyone, okay? You gotta keep it a secret, got it? Sure. And would you mind not guessing what I'm thinking all the time? Hey, tell your face, pal, <laughs> not me. You'd have to be blind not to see what's going on. That's such, like, like, regardless uh, of the context, the line "Tell your face, pal" tell is you, such tell a good your face, insult. Pal, <laughs> fucking got him. Hey, could you stop? Tell that to your face, pal. <laughs> no recovering from that. No. <laughs> so, I was wondering, could you fill me in on the victim? Len Elg. <laughs> I get what they did there, but also the it's last a name Ambigram Elg. or not Ambigram. What do you call it? Uh, Palin Palindrome. Yeah, Palindrome. Yeah, Palindrome. Yeah. Abel was I, Air Ice Alba. Yeah. Yeah. A man, a plan, a canal, Panama. Wow, that was really good. Ooh. <laughs> Glenn Elg. He was a computer programmer. I see. A programmer. He was just a regular Joe working for a small-time computer firm. I thought you said his name was Glenn. <laughs> Shut up, Phoenix. Maggie never had any contact with the guy before that day. And all she did was take him his coffee on the day of the murder, pal. And put poison in it. Yeah. But that's it. <laughs> Maggie also claimed to have never seen the guy before. Did the victim go to the restaurant often? Not according to the chef. That it was the first time he'd seen the guy. A programmer and a first-time customer. What possible reason could Maggie have to kill a guy like that? That's what I thought. But a motive was still somehow established in her trial. You're kidding! What was her supposed motive? Sorry, pal. I'm real busy. I haven't even got time to sift through these papers. How the fuck do you not know that, Gump? Didn't you like... also just say that you were going to put everything on the back burner? Else. Yeah, you just said you're doing nothing else but helping us. Yeah. Look into it yourself, okay? Jeez. What could this motive have been? This isn't really a proper investigation. I'm kind of working on it by myself. Uh, oh, that's right. The judge already ruled on the case, and all the evidence is in already. The only problem is with Maggie's testimony. Yeah, doesn't sound very good for us, huh? Look, pal, I've got a mountain of papers on this case to look over for before tomorrow. So I'm just going to say this. Aggie Bird's no liar. She's... She's... Okay, so she's a bit out there and a bit off base sometimes. 
And she lies occasionally. <laughs> but she was a and good cop. And she likes to poison people. <laughs> <laughs> she was a good cop. That's not exactly complimentary, you know. So what do you think really happened? And just how contradictory is her testimony? The biggest problem with Maggie's testimony is the number of people at the table. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Maggie still insists there was another guy with, with sitting with the victim. Right, but get this. Everyone else in the place says the guy was alone. Even the chef. Then there's that CD. CD? Oh, yeah, she did mention something about a CD. Yeah, CD Project Red has been really dropping the ball recently. <laughs> there was a sample CD on the table, sir. Thank you for that flashback that we definitely need. Yeah, definitely. We you definitely needed uh -huh. that. Yep. But I guys turned that place upside down. There was no CD. What? Not on the table, not anywhere in the whole restaurant, pal. But and it's not like anyone would have taken it with them. But didn't <laughs> But didn't Maggie say the victim was wearing an earpiece too? Yeah, but that was for the portable radio in the front pocket of his hoodie. A radio? He didn't have a CD player? <laughs> you got it. The phony never explained that contradiction at all. Come to think of it, the owner of Trebien didn't mention that CD either. I don't know why, but I get the feeling Mr. Armstrong's got something to hide. Yeah. If you already right. saw the Magatama lock, you know he has something to hide. I mean, yeah, quite literally, we know that. He had his he had his portable Zune in his pocket. Uh, Got him. <laughs> Got right, him. Erling. All right. Uh, uh, is there I anything we want to present to him? Present present the sports paper. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't buy watch the sports. What's that? A sports paper? Yeah. What do you think about the That's Reds. A... I couldn't think of a single sports team for like five seconds. Wow. Now. Easy. They lost. Wow. They lost twice to my Guardians. <laughs> yeah, I found it in the magazine rack at Trebien. How about them Bengals? Huh? <laughs> I mean, hey, man. They they they, they, the they did go to the Super Bowl actually. Yeah, pretty yeah. damn good. Yeah, I know. The best in my entire yeah. lifetime. Did... Right. It's it hurts. The same like, day as I the get murder. it, it hurts, but still pretty impressive. Mm. It may be on to something here. Take a look at this. See this writing here? MC Bomber. Hey. What is it? I've heard that name somewhere before. Yeah, MC Bomber. Wow. He actually seems to be thinking for once. Jesus. Wow. Phoenix. Jesus. Ah, it's no good. Can't remember. And he goes back to being the gumshoe we all know and love. That fucking, fucking evil. We do all love him, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hey, pal, I'm going to borrow this paper for a bit, okay? want to get a handwriting analysis done on this scribble. Handwriting, huh? It'd be good, it'd be good to, mo to know more about that in any case. Good thing that I thought of that. So I told this <laughs> idiot to do it for me. Thanks, pal. I bet this will turn out to be an interesting clue. All right. Uh, if and you now say present so. Jean Armstrong's profile to him. Also, check what Glenn Elg's profile says. Oh, good point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, let me do that really quick. Glenn Elg, the victim of. 28. Was a Maybe I've seen. Okay. I do love sometimes with how like creative the designs for characters in these games are, and there's the victims who are always just like pretty generic. This guy with a face. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's that's, true. that's all you get. <laughs> but this face had a scouter on it. Uh huh. Yeah. That's Here's true. Here's one single descriptive element. Yeah. I, that is... I I could not tell you a single thing about how Maggie's ex deceased boyfriend looked. Or... I go. Did he? Oh my god, did he even have a face? Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah, he did. It was just very generic. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He just had a police uniform on. His, his name was like Doug was like Swallows? Thing. No, that was this game's <laughs> first case. <laughs> That's a different dead guy? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I don't remember his name at all. Yeah. Dustin Prince. That's right. Dustin Prince. Dustin God, that's Prince. Right. That's of a good course. name. Thank you. That's a really good that name, good actually. Name. I like that one. It was a good name, yeah. The chef of Trey Bien, huh? You know what that chef said to me? Oh, la, la, your body is full of la toxins. <laughs> and then he gave me this bottle. What's in it? I don't know. The label says juniper. I'm under orders to put a few drops of it in my bath every day. <laughs> under orders? Under orders? <laughs> yeah, you know, there's something about that lady. I mean, guy. Okay. Yeah, it's... Huh? You uh, can't stop thinking about him. That's not, not what like that, pal. Give me a break. He's not my type. I mean, I can't stop thinking that he's involved with this case somehow. Sounds like he knows a little something more about our charming chef. All right. Uh... And then talk to him again. I was going to say, does that bring up a new option? Oh, yeah. okay. The Charming Chef. So what exactly is it that caught your attention about the chef at Trebian? It's uh, kind of hard to say. <laughs> He's dumb guy's probably not even... <laughs> the guy's probably not even connected with the case anyway. Hey, come on, detective. Didn't you say you'd give me the dirt on anything? Well, this sort of stuff is kind of unimportant gossipy stuff. You know, pal? Look, how about this? You go to Trebian and investigate the place yourself. And don't ever talk to me about it again. All right? <laughs> and if you find out anything suspicious about the guy, you report back to me, okay? Uh, don't suppose I get a choice in this, huh? Guess I better find out more about the chef and Trebian. And then report back to Gumshoe. And All then right. the next thing we do is move back to Trebian. So we got you want to call it here? And that is going to do it for another week's episode of Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Again, if you like this, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash save the team. And if you'd like to support us, head over to patreon.com slash save the team. We are actually only $55 away on Patreon, away from doing a full Deltarune Let's Play. Uh, so be excited for that. Uh, but until next time court is adjourned oh boy i sure am excited for a case with absolutely no problematic characters Slam. is that bridge oh uh, for a second i thought it was bridge jumping out of a window <laughs> <laughs> amazing i love this pearl with the magatama oh, the eyes. Magatama eyes. It's really good. So good and the little yeah, gap tooth is movie, super though. cute <laughs> all these gap tooth kids uh, uh infamously dorky with ace attorney but make it cats uh, this is amazing. Uh, so cute. This fucking the, the 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 choice of I don't know the name of that cat, but for pain is like ten out of ten. The Meekins cat is phenomenal. The Gumshoe cat I would trust with my life. The Shelly yeah, the Killer absolutely. cat is amazing. Uh -huh. uh, Phoenix and Edgeworth, along with uh, Gregory Edgeworth. Von, Ooh, Von Karma cat. cat. Along with Ooh. Francisca, the walking in motion is so good. Oh, Colored in Francisca. So nice. <laughs> Francisca is a cat, but wet is so good. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then Happy Cat, uh, a little gross bird. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> He's playing with his little lemon toy. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Oh, and look at you! You gave us a fantastic. You gave us little a great little butt. butthole, which is amazing. Yeah. Just a random idiot. No turnabout time travel this week. Instead, I drew that ending scene from Turnabout the Goodbyes because about a year ago, I first got into Ace Attorney and wanted to redraw one of the first things I ever drew. Uh, uh, awesome. Hey, I will say, like, mega shout out to you. Your art style, like, so much more defined. And yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great before and after. Yeah. Nice. Before and after, but I don't know, time skip. Uh, yeah. Want to yeah. Time, time skip art. The yeah. anime time skip. Uh, uh. So, hell yeah. Congrats to you. Uh, this is awesome. What if you called me pal and then we kissed in the Trey Bien parking lot? <laughs> Doesn't get much more than that, guys. That's so good. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, I fucking love this. Edgeworth in yeah, like an Elwood's get up, essentially. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, King Kiron. <laughs> 
<laughs> Pearl smacked Phoenix so hard he had his face replaced by the urn. His head's just yeah, yeah. cast. That's so good. Uh -huh. <laughs> just like writing Avi on his face. That's so funny. That's they, really funny. They painted it. <laughs> Love that. Rose with Max and Lotta clothes swap. I fucking hate drawing Max's oh, outfit. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> hey, Lotta hot. Yeah, Lotta hot. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. Wow. Rose, this is why you gotta do this to everybody. <laughs> I do love the little Max. Lotta, no. <laughs> uh, Rook, also some genuine art that I doodled uh, while trying to binge the entirety of Case 2 VODs before tonight's stream. No thoughts, only Ron Delight. It's super good. Hell yeah. I just had tilt It's very so good. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Ron, pretty great Ace Attorney character. Hell yeah. Uh, Croissant Hell yeah. with this really cool, like, texture drawing of uh, Feeny. Ooh. <laughs> it's the anatomy of a Feeny. Spikes, how? Eyes that will cry at any moment. The face of a puppy rejected by life itself. Good on you for adding that joke in there. Uh, he wears a mask because he's a good boy. It's The P stands for gamer. <laughs> Scarf to be cozy. <laughs> Jeans from the back. He has no butt. Running shoes, but he doesn't. But look at him. He doesn't run. <laughs> Sweater, Sweater by, by girlfriend. girlfriend. Too bad Too she's, bad. Evil. she's evil. Amazing. That's so <laughs> it, stands, it stands for gamer. Yeah, the P stands for gamer, famously. Uh, Beb with French. <laughs> this fucking kicks ass. So much ass. I love this that so is, much. Phoenix is with a French mustache and Maya with the beret. Actually, this is a good look for Phoenix. I kind of like the mustache on him. It's a good yeah. look for both of them. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. They yeah. both look pretty yeah. good. In French style. Yeah, yeah they should yeah. they should move to France. They Once should. you go French, you don't go stench. <laughs> Once you go French, you don't go lemons. Maya, literally what? <laughs> <laughs> Sign go bear. Her face, there. Her face is so good. And we got Charlie Elmney, based on a joke me and my friends have the, the judges or the judge is only here for the drama. Also, first time posting in chat. Hi guys. What's up? Hi, what's Welcome. Up? And this is incredible. I fucking yeah, love this. Oh. It does seem like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God. That's fantastic. Thank you. 